Hello, and thank you for joining our info session at Columbia University's American Language Program. My name is Jana, and I am the Assistant Director of ALP Student Life, and I'm happy to share with you more information about our program today. And I'm joined by Mary. Hi. I'm the Director of the American Language Program. And so let's get started. Let's tell you a little bit about the American Language Program in New York City. So most people are familiar with Columbia University. It's a world famous institution, top national and global university. Of course, many people know it as an Ivy League university. Um, there are so many areas of study at our school, um, people from all around the world. It's actually one of the most diverse campuses in the US with a huge international student population. Um, and uh, for many good reasons. We want to tell you about some of those and what makes the American Language Program special. So we are over 100 years old. We've been on campus for a really long time. Columbia is one of two Ivy League universities that has an intensive English program. So many of our faculty have been with us for decades. Um, they're leaders in their field and they are very experienced in teaching academic English. It's a very rigorous program. Our students will tell you that they study hard. Um, there's a lot of work, but it is really rewarding and students can tell you that they see so much improvement in their English, not just speaking, but in their writing, their presentation skills, all of the skills we, we help you work on. So being in New York, it becomes a very unique cultural and educational experience. And we wanna provide that well-rounded education for our students. Okay, so what, what is it like to be a student in our program? Well, first of all, um, we, we teach uh, integrated skills. Uh, so that means that we teach reading, writing, listening, and speaking all together. So you, we don't have a writing class and a grammar class. Uh, you will learn all of the skills all together. Uh, and then of course, the important grammar, pronunciation and vocabulary. Uh, and you're also going to actively use your English in class. Learning, an learning a language is all about um, speaking it. And so you can expect to participate a lot in your classes. Um, the other thing that you will do is you will learn English in context. Um, so each week you'll explore different uh, topics and themes. You'll read about them, you'll listen to things about them, um, and then you'll speak about them and write about them. Um, you will also learn a lot about American culture. You're here in the US, um, but you'll also learn about other cultures too, because your classmates will be from, from different countries. It's a, a truly multicultural experience. And then the other really important thing is that uh, you will learn to think critically. Uh, you'll look at things and ask questions about them. You'll think about things in new ways. Um, you'll question the things that you read and you listen to. Uh, it's a big part of, of what we do because it's a big part of the American academic experience. So um, we have in our program, eight levels of instruction. We don't teach beginners, but we do teach uh, pre-intermediate, uh, which is probably on the CEFR scale A2, if you're familiar with that, to um, a very high advanced level. Um, level six in our program, which is kind of right in the middle, um, that would be um, a high, sorry, a low B2 level. Um, and you would score roughly around 72 on the TOEFL. So that would mean that you are technically university ready. But at the ALP, we, uh, we teach to a much higher level um, than that. And uh, we, you can get up to level eight, and nine, which is the equivalent to C1, C2, aiming to get 95 or above on the TOEFL. And so that really is top university level and you're, you're, you're competing with the, the best of the best. Um, as Jana said, we teach academic English. And so you'll learn how to write essays, make presentations, uh, and also academic skills like note-taking and participating in discussions. But even if you're not thinking about going to university in the States and you're just learning English, either for professional or personal reasons, those skills are still really, really helpful um, and you'll still make improvement. It's just that the, that the context is academic because we're here on campus at Columbia. Um, and we do also teach you what it's like to be in an American classroom. We teach you the same way that, that, that university students are taught here in the US. 
So um, one thing that you can expect is to get a lot of feedback about uh, your English, uh, the things that you write and what you say, your teachers are always looking to help you improve. So they'll give you lots of input to help you do that better. Um, and one thing that's really important when you're learning a language is that you feel comfortable. And so uh, our teachers um, make sure that the, the class is a, a supportive uh, place to be and, and you work together well and you learn from each other. We are, as Jana said, we are a rigorous program. And, and so we do have serious classes. You will work hard, um, but we do make it an enjoyable experience as well. Our classes are quite small. Um, the maximum is 16, but the average is usually between eight and 12. Um, and it's truly a, a, a unique uh, experience because you're here in New York, you're also here on campus at Columbia, and we try to, 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 to make sure that both of those things are a part of the classroom as well. Um, and you also will build community. Um, you're here with a group of people who are all wanting to do the same thing as you to improve uh, their English. And so by spending 18 hours a week with them in class, you, you really get to know them and, and you make friends and, and it's, it's a great place to, to, to meet people and, and, and to, to learn. So um, Jana talked about our faculty. We, we have a, a great faculty um, here at the ALP. So we have full-time, but also a lot of part-time faculty. They all have a minimum of a master's degree uh, or a doctorate in teaching English or in applied linguistics. Um, and they all just love teaching. Um, they are all interested in making uh, classes engaging um, and really, really helping you to learn. So um, we run in our intensive classes all through the year, spring, summer, and fall. Uh, in fall and spring, we uh, teach the regular 14 week semester. And then in summer, we have shorter classes uh, that meet just for four weeks. Um, and so there are three of those beginning in uh, mid-May and we run until uh, mid-August. And so you can study one of those, two of those or all three of them. Um, and in summer, we have what we call project-based courses. So you uh, study one theme for four weeks and then you present on that theme at the end. So it's a little bit different than our fall and spring, which are a regular uh, four skills programs that go for the full semester. Um, all of our classes are 18 hours a week. And uh, we have what we call a university style schedule, which means that classes are not always at the same time every day. So as you can see from the example on the screen here, uh, on some days they have an afternoon class and then it, on a Wednesday, it might be a morning class. One day you might have two classes. So this varies, it depends on the, the class that you're in the, the, um, and your level. And our teachers work together. So you will always have uh, at least two instructors, sometimes three instructors, and together they build your course. Um, in summer, we also have a couple of extra courses that we run. Uh, one of these is called Advanced Academic Preparation. This is an eight week course and it is specifically de designed for students who are starting university in the fall semester, either graduate or undergraduate. Um, and Really, it's a, a writing focused course. Um, so you, you explore lots of different aspects of one theme and, and at the same time you then start working on a research paper. Um, again, 18 hours a week. Uh, and that's an advanced level for um, level seven and above, which is about 85 in the total or 6.5 IELTS. And then the other course that we have uh, in the summer is our uh, business course. This is just three weeks. Um, it's uh, a business focused course with plus English. So you look at, uh, you read different case studies, for example, from the Harvard Business Review, and then you discuss them, you make presentations. Um, this is for people who are maybe about to begin uh, their MBA uh, or just uh, business professionals, professionals who are looking to uh, in, brush up their English. Um, and again, this is an advanced level course uh, that meets intensively. So, um, so Jana, perhaps you could tell us a little bit more about um, who our students are. Yeah, we have a very diverse community in the ALP and we're very proud of that. So the ALP is open to anyone over the age of 17. And like Mary said, who already has a bit of experience with English, not absolute beginner, 
Um, but we do we do ask that students have at least some experience. They've learned a little bit of the language. We have people over the age of 17. We've had people over the age of 70, a wide range of students coming to us from all over the world. A lot of our students have the goal of going to a U.S. university in the future. This is definitely not a requirement. Um, some students are coming for the summer. Maybe their employer is sending them um, all kinds of reasons. Some people just want to experience New York and be able to say that they spent a semester studying English. Whatever the reason is, we're ready to welcome that kind of student. We're ready to welcome you. Um, our top countries have typically been China, Saudi Arabia, South Korea, and Japan. Um, but every semester we see um, different countries represented, South America and Central America, Europe, um, Africa. And so we love seeing who's going to be with us each semester. And it's fun to build that community together with that diverse group of students. So I want to share with you what a couple of our students have said about the program. They spent a few semesters with us. And like I said, different academic goals, different reasons for being with us. Uh, for example, Rowan from Saudi Arabia had this to say about the ALP. As an international law student, studying at the ALP gave me many benefits besides learning English. It helped me to develop and acquire many skills like critical thinking, analyzing, and problem solving. And I think this is important to remember because she had the academic goal of studying at a U.S. university after her time in the ALP. And what it helped her do was not only improve her English, not only improve her grammar, things like that, but she had this well-rounded education that prepared her for a U.S. university setting where you'll need things like critical thinking, being able to discuss academic opinions or participate in a U.S. classroom. So I really appreciate that that's what she gained from her time at the ALP. Another student, Roberta from Brazil, said this, I like studying at the ALP because I learned English with great teachers and meet people with different customs and cultures. I have cultivated many friendships in the ALP. These moments are special and I keep them in my memory and heart. And we like this quote from her because it, it exemplifies what we want to do within our program. English is the reason why we are all together at the ALP. However, it becomes more than English. It becomes about community, learning about yourself, learning about others, about different cultures. And so we really pride ourselves on being able to build that sense of community while our students are with us. And so as you've heard in this info session, you'd be in New York studying at Columbia, and that alone is a very exciting prospect. You'd be in a multicultural city, and there's always something to explore here. There's no shortage of things to do in New York, whatever time of day. There are theater and museums and cultural events every single day of the year, whatever the season. And my favorite thing about New York is that you can get food from all around the world. And so it becomes like home. Um, there are so many things that are new and different about New York City. It's, um, it's a very exciting and unique place. And yet when we need a sense of home, we can go get food, we can go to different neighborhoods, we can meet people from where we're from. And what I really love about our classes is that our teachers are able to use New York City as part of the classroom. We have our physical classrooms where you know, we sit and we discuss together at Columbia's campus, but our classes can use the museums, um, corporate offices, walking tours, parks, all kinds of exciting places to use as educational opportunities. Your teachers will be able to take you to different places around the city as a class. And then in addition, this is where I come in, we have an activities program where we do things together. You don't have to do things alone. Um, we can get together and you see in these pictures that we go all around the city. We go to big landmarks, um, and big tourist destinations, we go to sporting events, 
And it's a really great way to meet other people in the program and explore the city together while practicing English. One perk about being a Columbia student is you get a Columbia ID that really becomes a passport to the city. With that ID, Columbia students actually get free entry into many of New York's museums. The biggest one is the Metropolitan Museum of Art, like you see in this picture. And so you can access this museum any day of the year as a Columbia student. You can also get discounts to theater and performing arts, for example, the New York um, Ballet, the Philharmonic. And so there are all these opportunities for Columbia students to access the city at a discount. And another ben benefit about being at Columbia is Columbia's campus. I come to campus every day, it never gets old. I love being on this historic campus. One of the things I always tell our students about is the libraries. It's a great place to spend your time studying, writing papers, doing homework. We have 22 libraries on campus. Uh, this picture that you see is our main library, Butler. They've got computers, copiers, printers, everything you need um, are right there in the libraries. There are different kinds of study spaces, whether you need something that's quiet or you're working with a group. And we have libraries that are open every day of the week to meet your needs. And so if you ever go to our library's website, you can find all the information about what is available when you're studying on campus. And so you've got the ALP community where uh, we get together, like I said, and, and we uh, meet each other and spend time together but you are also a Columbia student when you study with us. And so that means you have access to everything around the university. I really love keeping up with the university-wide events. They have guest speakers, they have world leaders, um, global thought leaders that come and give lectures, free speeches. And so you can access those as a Columbia student and join these outside of class. We have a gym on campus. We have hundreds of clubs. A lot of our students like to join special interest clubs. And we also have a language exchange program where we can partner students who are learning each other's language. So you can practice English while another student is practicing your first language. And it's just a great way to get involved while you're here, while you're in New York, and how to make the most of your time while you're at Columbia. Okay, so uh, you might be wondering, how do I apply? I, I, the next thing you do is you just apply online on our website. So um, right in the, the, the top left corner of, of every page of our website is the apply now button. Uh, and you just click on that. And then there's an application form that you have to complete. You pay an application fee and pay a tuition deposit. Uh, and then we send you a placement test to make sure that your level is, is enough to get in the program. Uh, and that's the first step. Um, after that, most of our students uh, need to apply for a, an F1 student visa. Um, all of our courses, uh, both in the fall and spring and also in the summer, require a, a, an F1 visa. You also apply for that online. Um, there, there is also an application fee for that. Um, and then the ALP sends you the I-20 form, and then you go to uh, the embassy or consulate in your country to get your visa. It can take about four to six weeks to get an appointment uh, at, a, at the embassy, so always make sure that you apply with enough time. Our application uh, deadlines on our website will show you uh, the, the time frame that you need in order to, to, to give enough time to get your, to get your visa before you travel. So um, the housing situation, university housing, unfortunately, is not available to ALP students in the fall and spring. However, we do have housing that is available in the summer. Um, Columbia operates um, a housing website for op off-site options um, with some different, different uh, places that you can uh, apply for. Um, but also there are um, private dormitories in New York City, uh, for example, studenthousing.org uh, 
which um, has accommodation, very nice accommodation in different parts of the city that, that you can apply for. Uh, and that will give you accommodation for the whole uh, length of your stay. It is not the cheapest place uh, in, in the country uh, to stay. Um, so that is something that needs to be factored into your plans. Um, and uh, it, sometimes if you're trying to get an apartment uh, on your own, it can be uh, 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 kind of scary, but um, we have some resources on our website. Um, and, and as I said, the off-campus housing uh, website also is there to kind of help uh, students uh, find somewhere to stay. Um, so this is just a, a summary of the uh, courses that we have during the year, uh, the length and also the, the cost. And these are the general uh, months in which uh, they are running. So as you can see, we have courses that pretty much run all year. We get students who come just for one semester. We get students who come just for four weeks in summer. And then we get students who come and stay for a year or sometimes longer than a year. So in addition to the tuition cost, um, there are also uh, fees that, that students pay each semester. So for example, you might pay a technology fee, um, a health fee, and then in the fall and spring, and if you study all semester, you, all students will also uh, be uh, billed for the Columbia Health Insurance, which is a requirement for all international students who study at Columbia for, for more than six weeks. Um, and in the summer, as I said, you can just choose one course or you can you can take all three. Um, you can study from anywhere between four and, and 12 weeks. So if you're short on time, the summer is a, is a great option for studying with us. Um, if you need more information, uh, the most important place to go to is our website um, at this link. Uh, and you can also email us. So our admissions office is alp at columbia.edu. Uh, you can ask any questions you have about how to apply or what it's like to study, anything that you need to know. And if you have specific questions about uh, the F1 visa process, or if you have a different kind of visa and you want to know if you can study with us on that, then alpvisa at columbia.edu is the place to go to find answers to those questions. And yeah, we hope to uh, welcome you soon on campus. So we wish you good luck as you plan and prepare. We're here to support you if you need any help. And we hope to welcome you in the future.